What is going on, guys? It's your man, Jeff, and I'm back with another one. As always, y'all, it is damn good to see y'all, man. I hope you guys are doing good out there for real. I figured since I was dying laughing at the last of the Tansky reaction, I figured we would hop on over to Elro, man. Because <laughs> this guy fucking killed me the last time I heard him. So, this is his warm-up session part two. Everybody in the comments was telling me that this dude is either A, he's hilarious, or B, he's got some real deep stuff, man. And y'all are also telling me that the progression in this one is fucking insane. And I had a hard time, man. I wasn't sure if I should react to this right away or if I should go back and uh, do like his F64 and stuff like that. But I figured since I did the first warm-up session, I'm going to do the second one and then after... If y'all want, I'll go back and react to it. I just wasn't too sure, so I figured I would do at least part one and part two together anyway. So, without any further ado, man, because I am excited as fuck to see what the hell he's going to say in this, man. Is it going to be funny? Is it going to be deep? I see he got a beard. He looks a hell of a lot older, like more mature-wise, not in a bad way or anything like that, but... This is going to be interesting, man. Do got a glass of wine with him, so without any further ado for the second time, let's just dive into this, shall we? Elro Warm-Up Sessions Part 2. Let's go. Shout out to Dan White Derulo, Daryl Daffin's jawline and hairline. Shout out to Edgar Davids, Eric Hitchmo, and my main man, Sweaty! <laughs> Mate, I'm an awkward cunt. That's... I'm a main oh, man, sweaty. We're gonna be here for a while, probably. <laughs> hey! Mate, I'm an awkward cunt. That's why I'm always drunk. You can catch me sipping on a shat de pap every day when the morning comes. Or some of that Morgan's rum. Whenever that boredom comes. I guess I'm borderline bored all the time. I should talk to someone. I've got no jawline, less with a turkey neck. And I like a bit of posh, call me Dirty Bex. Came back new look with a quirky specs. If it's dirty sex, I last 30 sex. Returned at the Marky Mark type. <laughs> <laughs> I came back with a new look. Dirty specs. Dirty sex for the last 30 seconds. Specs came back new look with a quirky specs. If it's dirty sex, I last 30 sex. Returned at the Marky Mark type. I'm hard as fuck type. Bargy Larry blow. Trying to make my mark imprint deep like a cast of my cock, but it's hairy, yo. Skin tone white is a double or a I make my mark imprint deep like a cast of my cock, but it's hairy, yo. Skin tone white is a dove or a t-shirt washed with the aerial. I'm known to flip when I'm twisted. Kick flip burial. Oh. That's for the skaters. Oh, that was sick. Hell yeah. I haven't skated in years, but fuck yeah. To my cock, but it's hairy, yo. Skin tone white is a dove or a t-shirt washed with the aerial. I'm known to flip when I'm twisted. Kick flip burial. That's for the skaters. I can never debate with haters. My patience is too thin. I think my chin ain't my patience. Might change my name to two chins. I used to cruise to my school. <laughs> Might change my names to two chins. But that line previous was actually kind of fire right there. Skin tone white is a dove or a t-shirt washed with the aerial. I'm known to flip when I'm twisted. Kick flip burial. That's for the skaters. I can never debate with haters. My patience is too thin. Yeah, I can never debate with haters. My patience is too thin. I think my chin ain't my patience. Might change my name to two chins. I used to cruise to my school in a five door hatchback. Never had a flat peak cat, but I listened to the rap. Was that a play on two chins? I'm sorry for the pauses, y'all, but god damn. To two chins. I, I, know th I know this dude has sick wordplay, so I'm just trying to catch. Patience is too thin. I think my chin ain't my patience. Might change my name to two chins. I used to cruise to my school in a five door hatchback. Never had a flat peak cat, but I listened to the rap pack. And I had a lunchbox with a pack lunch in my backpack. I got punched in the nose by the five man, I couldn't breathe. I decided to sue the feds in every sense you see. Woo. Excuse me, love. It's a double half lager for me. And that twat behind me's on half double whiskey. Well complicated, you see. I text birds, but they never text back. I don't think they got any signal, mate. It could be that, because it could never be the fact I'm an ugly twat. I've shagged every bird. I don't know what you heard. <laughs> every bird on earth resents this tragic girth. But fuck. Tragic girth. <laughs> oh shit. Know what you heard? <sighs> Every bird on earth resents this tragic girth. But resents it? Oh my god. Know what you heard? Every bird on earth resents this tragic girth. But fuck bragging, I'm shagging too many birds to brag in the bath. I'm about to burst and that doesn't bother me, honestly, I'm a stump. <laughs> I 
don't know whether to react because the flow is switching and I get excited over the shitty thing. I don't know what you heard. Oh. Every bird on earth resents this tragic girth. But fuck bragging, I'm shagging too many birds to brag in the battle third, but fat and the battle first and that doesn't bother me, honestly, I'm astonished because trying to become a monarch in rap is harder than Tonic and Jack is and it doesn't mix. I'm the Keith Floyd of rap, and this breakdown's only in here so I could have a little slurp of the pack. My dealer kept selling me empty bags, and I find that shit hard to swallow, man, till it turns out they were just a hologram, I ain't spat on one of these for like oh, two years. Oh, oh, that was so fucking goddamn. My dealer selling me empty bet. That's a hologram. Holy fuck. Swallow man, till it turns out they were just a hologram. I ain't spat on one of these for like two years. Now I'm yearning to come back burning. The punch bag's worn and I'm bored of these same old grime MCs and I'm constantly yawning. Rewind. Back in 2011, I was sure that I'd blown up. Signed to a major, released a bullshit single, went to some parties and mingled and fucked up. Now I'm back and I'm better, the flow is impeccable, jawline sort of detectable. Nevertheless, all the more with a beard that disguises my chin, I'm a general. Yeah, I'm back and I look Hell homeless, yeah. touche. You see, my home is big place. It's a semi-detached, you assume, because I rap and enunciate that I live in a big place. Got posh parents and cash, it's a fact, that's a mistake. Back with a mixtape, soon with a bang, I'm a bit late. Rapping but making it happen is where I progress, I'm a piss tape. If you didn't know me yet, you were a bit late. I've got the man boob swagger of old men in MAGA that hang around BCM and get done for rape. Via Sadiq I'm writing, and you seem quite chilled out mate and inviting. So could I have a pinch of your backy? Do you mean no you fucking... Chill out, that's racist, and I'll never be one of them on the basis. But if someone's a prick and they do them on nut, then it doesn't matter what colour their face is. Ginger beard, but the same... Nah, you fucking right man, if someone is a prick, it don't matter what colour they are. They're just a prick. I remember, this is an old bit like that Bill Burr used to do. He used to say, doesn't matter if you're an old guy or a young guy, an asshole is still an asshole because he was talking about how you gotta respect your elders. Well, not if they're being a prick. <laughs> you don't knock them out or anything, but you can tell them, hey, man. Fuck you. Do you mean no, you fucking... Chill out, that's racist, and I'll never be one of them on the basis. But if someone's a prick and they do him on nut, then it doesn't matter what colour their face is. Ginger beard, but the same pot belly. Face so bait, you would swear I'm off the telly. Drank so damn much red wine in my spare time now, mate, I got addicted to Rennie. Middle-aged lesbos, that's not me. Driving a nice whip, that's not me. They say you look like the son of the guy from Family Guy, man. Yeah, that's me. Hey, girl. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Fucking right. Hell yeah, you gotta own it. <laughs> That's fucking awesome that he did that. That's not me. They say you look like the son of the guy from Family Guy, man. Yeah, that's me. Hey, girl, can I buy you a drink? You look fit and you winked and my heart went boom and I wonder whether you're brown or pink inside your lips. I didn't mean to say that out loud. I guess I just slipped. But if you give me one more chance... Then... <laughs> oh, I can barely sit in my fucking chair. <laughs> Did I say that out loud? <laughs> oh, oh fuck, I turned the volume down. Oh. Yeah, that's me. Hey girl, can I buy you a drink? You look fit and you winked and my heart went boom and I wonder whether you're brown or pink inside your lips. I didn't mean to say that out loud. I guess I just slipped. But if you give me one more chance, then you could get this. Shout out Eric Hitchmo. All the Hitchmo oh. lot. Shout out to anyone going through anxiety. You can fucking push through this. Damn I'm a fucking right, rapper for fuck's sake. Keep going. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> we got Tom Mix. Elro's a fucking savage, man. Hell yeah. <laughs> he, oh my god, dude. <laughs> that last 10 seconds fucking killed me. <laughs> but I will say, man, he is not fucking lying. You gotta push through your anxiety. Man, like he said, he's like, look at me, I'm a fucking rapper. Hell yeah. Like, anywhere when he was a little kid, did he ever think that he was going to be a rapper? Probably not, man. But sometimes if you love something and you got a passion for it, you just got to push through, man. Like, not to use myself as an example, I guess, but it's the only one I got around me. If you go way back to my first few videos, man, even like, even up until like a few months ago, man, you can... If you look at these videos now compared to where they were, well, y'all are the ones that pointed it out to me, for fuck's sakes, man. You you guys were saying, they were like, it's crazy to see that your confidence is getting built up as you're doing these videos. And that's the fucking truth, man. I ain't gonna lie. The first video I did, it was a Dax one. I don't even think I said a fucking word, man. Like, I was just so nervous to even speak. <laughs> but you just gotta keep pushing, dude. Hell, fucking right, Elro, man. Hell yeah, you the shit. 
always, dude. I fucking, I'm a fan of this guy, man, just simply because of, like, how he is. Like, in what he talks about, man, yes, some people might hate on his body, but you know what? They real because they relate to him, man. He's just being honest with himself and what he likes to rap about and how you, you can't not, how do I say, you can't not not respect it, I think. I don't know, you, you just, you gotta respect it, man. Like, it's fucking, he's staying true to who he is, which is fucking sick. So thank you to you guys as always, man, like I say, for the best fucking shit to react to. I would have never found this dude or anybody in the UK scene if it wasn't for y'all, man. So like I said, like in yesterday's video, fuck, like, I feel like I stumbled across a diamond field or a diamond mine, man. Just weird how things work out, man, starting the reaction channel and then... You know, getting hooked into the UK scene, and then now it's at the perfect time, man, where all these artists are just releasing fucking just killer tracks, man. Bangers, fucking personal ones, fucking heavy. It, it, I love it, man. So thank you to you guys as always, man, from the bottom of my heart to yours, man. I mean that for real. And I hope you guys have a blessed, wonderful, awesome day. Hell fucking yeah. Go after your dreams, baby. If you don't listen to me, listen to Elro, dude. Hell yeah. Push through that anxiety. I fucking love you guys, man. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.